Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel. What's up, Sag Team? Um, if you are new for the first time, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you stay. I hope you rock with your girl. If you have been rocking with me, y'all know what it is. I love you guys, and thank you so much for the continued support. Sagittarius, you guys are always on the top three, showing me love. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and get it rocking. This is your love reading, you guys. I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on with y'all. Probably not more than you guys do. So let's go ahead and get it going, guys. This is from March 5th to March 15th. What do you guys need to know about your love life? You guys, keep in mind these readings are general. So please only take what resonates. I do try to pick up on as many energies as possible, right? But we got a lot of Sagittarius out there. So <laughs> of course I can't pick them all up. Pick, pick them all up. Right, the retrograde got me all messed up. But it's all good. I'm gonna keep rocking with it anyways. Um, if you are um wanting a personal reading right you need you need additional guidance go ahead and hit me up right you can book your reading right now i have 25 dollars readings and you get a free three card spread at a letter at a later <laughs> yeah this is almost the at a later date okay um real quick this card came up right separation guys so some of you guys are currently separated right maybe you're doing your own thing you're alone some of you guys are maybe kind of needing to separate right maybe you guys are wanting to separate but you're not um playfulness right maybe some of you guys need to go ahead and bring some innocence into your relationship right there could be a lot of stress um you guys just need to flirt a little bit right bring some different energy into the relationship this could even be for you if you're single right you're going through your own thing you're in hermit mode and you just need to kind of invite some fun funness playfulness <laughs> invite some fun into your life okay that way you can live your best life but we're going to go ahead and get started. At the bottom of the deck, guys, we do have trust, okay? So this situation is calling for you to have faith, right? So seeing, um, believing in the believing in the unseen, right? Trust in the process, right? This is all about your mindset, making sure that your mindset is right, okay? Because what we think about is, of course, what we attract. Um, and if you are, hold on a second. If you're thinking about the negative, guys, you already know how that works, <laughs> All right, but we're going to go ahead and see. Um, I did during the pre-shuffle, though, guys. I saw the hermit. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I saw the hermit. I also saw the um, Ten of Cups, so I'm not going to lie. So, you guys, that's that's some happiness, right? Maybe you guys are doing that on your own. Maybe you're doing some soul searching. Maybe you and your boo are retreating from the world um, so that you guys can kind of get to know each other, right? You guys can um, spend some time alone. All right, so, you guys, I don't know if we're going to take... All right, we'll take it, we'll take it, but then that's it. So we have trust, that came back up, okay? So you guys, trust the process on this, okay? Um, flirt. So extend your lighthearted energy to others. We kind of talked about that, right? Um, free yourself, right? This is, it's time to take back control of your life, you guys. Whether you're in a relationship that is no good for you, okay? Take back control of your life. Or you are in a situation where you just need to go ahead and release that past, right? Let go of the past. Let go of everything that used to be and try the unknown, right? Trust the process in the unknown. Flirt. Bring some new energy into it, okay? You might be so stuck on that past and you don't even know it's stopping you from moving forward, okay? So know that you deserve love because, of course, you are lovable, right? So step into the unknown, right? Spread your wings and fly. Keep an open mind, all right? Um, your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, you guys, you are used to a certain type, right? That might not be working for you. Keep an open mind, okay? Try to think outside the box. Try something new, okay? If what you have been doing is not working for you, okay? <laughs> All right, so it's safe for you to love again, right? Release that past, guys. Know that you're lovable. Know it's safe for you to love again. Know that anything that happened in the past was probably to evolve you, right? Probably to grow, make you grow in some way. So as soon as you go ahead and release the past, right, open up that heart chakra, call in your soulmate because then your soulmate can see you, right? You guys are going to be vibing at the same vibration, okay? Um, for others of you guys needing to release the past, right, needing to free your thoughts from the past, work, work on your relationship, right? Keep an open mind. Maybe you don't always have to be right. They don't always have to be wrong. Um, this is you guys just kind of working together though, right, so that you guys can grow. 
and there we go look release your ex okay see some of y'all need to go ahead and release your ex or just release the energy okay you could be in a situation where you are in a situation where you just need to release it right you need to go ahead and free yourself or somebody from the past maybe and it could be the past not the recent past just in general right something has happened to you in the past and you need to release that energy guys you need to go ahead and um Free yourself. And this could be manifesting anything in your life, all right? But if you are not in a clear state of mind, you guys, you don't want to manifest something that you're not. Because the law of attraction, you know what? It is the law. So it is going to give you exactly what it is that you're thinking about. So if you are thinking about worst case scenario all the time, but you want to get out of worst case scenario, <laughs> you need to go ahead and free your thoughts, all right? Release that past. Keep an open mind. Flirt. Bring some new energy into your life. Um, know that you deserve love. All right. So Sagittarius, we're five minutes in. What was that? Um, the death card. Beautiful. So you guys, you guys are going through some kind of look and it came back out. So I'm going to leave it out because it's supposed to be out. Right. So the death card, we'll kind of just leave it to the side. We'll talk about it. But that talks about transformation. Right. You guys are definitely transforming. You are evolving. You're letting go of the old. Right. To invite the new into your life. You're letting go of fear right you're stepping into the unknown you're not being trapped by your old thoughts anymore you're not being trapped in situations where you feel like you have to stay because you're scared of a rebirth no you're letting go of that okay some of you guys have something that is coming back right a reconcile um the relationship has transformed and you're just kind of going with the flow right you got a brand new love there's new love coming into the relationship this person is coming in correct okay king of cups okay this is possibly a water sign right y'all know how i feel about water and fire but this is somebody who is very emotionally balanced so as you are transforming as you are evolving if you're single i know this is for my lovers but if you're single guys making sure that you are remaining emotionally balanced <clears throat> all right making sure that you are knowing that you deserve love right this is not being all over the place because you're emotional <clears throat> maybe speaking up right <laughs> maybe speaking up about something but um I, I definitely feel like some of you guys have had some kind of death and transformation right some of you guys need to let something go with a water sign right or somebody who was not emotionally available or you are feeling left out in the cold okay or you have a lack of faith in something if you have a lack of faith in something you guys need to let that go get your feelings in check and go ahead and move forward and allow this re this rebirth to happen others of you guys though you may have been feeling left out in the cold and you have a water sign may be coming back in for you right leaving the past behind there's going to be a death and a rebirth or not even a water sign but just somebody who's going to be emotionally balanced okay yes yeah, so keep an open mind and leave the past in the past <clears throat> if that's your story all right so the devil card guy <laughs> all right so this talks about um a couple of things uh wait let me this is our bottom of the card bottom of the deck card um staying emotionally balanced so you guys are definitely going through some changes right so you might be scared you might want to go back to your old ways because that is what you know that is what you're comfortable of don't do it right allow things to go ahead and unfold right do not give anything or anybody power over you right this is about you knowing your worth this is about you knowing that you are um that you deserve love right with this cup um this is about you stepping into your power and not letting your emotions get the best of you there's something about you that maybe needs to be that needs to transform so allow that to happen do not let that fear kind of kick you back into your old ways keep an open mind go with the flow others of you guys though you might be holding on to a relationship that you need to let go with this devil card okay you might not be getting the love that you need all right all right some of you guys are kind of scared. You're scared to allow this rebirth to happen into your relationship out of fear of what has happened in the past. And you need to go ahead and let that go. You need to work on your relationship. You need to release the past energies, okay? Yeah, holding on to something, not allowing new opportunities to come in, okay? So this is saying like, hey, you know what? I know I want something new right i want something new i want to work on something i want to build something i want a new partnership but i don't know how to do it i'm scared to do it i'm scared to allow this new change to come in so this is you guys saying hey you know what i know that you are have been successful up to this point right but it didn't work for you right or maybe it's not working for you or maybe you want to go to the next step right you want to evolve with the death card so go ahead and allow those changes to take place a go with the flow right this definitely talks about going with the flow don't hold on to the past expecting something new 
All right, go ahead and allow change to happen. This is going to help you get that new opportunity, right? This is going to get you that partnership. So um, don't be scared, right? Do not be scared, whether this be you taking a leap of faith on your own or this is, you know, kind of taking a leap of faith on a new relationship, okay? Um, take it how it resonates, right? But just know that it's safe for you to love. But there are some changes that need to take place, okay? Don't be scared of that. This is to help you grow. All right, so the Four of Cups, guys, this is saying, you know what, don't miss out on a new opportunity, okay? Don't don't take it for granted, okay? The universe is trying to hand you this brand new cup of love, and you maybe kind of are thinking about, hey, you know what, I don't want to move forward. I'm kind of stuck, right? I'm complacent. I know I have this celebration here waiting for me on the other side of fear, on the other side of this wall, right, with this wall right here, but I feel like you can't see on the other side of the wall, so you may not be making this move, okay? Um... You guys, allow this, you know, make sure you're staying emotionally balanced, but go ahead and allow this universe to give you this blessing with this new love. Release the old. All right, you have something new coming in for you that is going to be emotionally balanced, or this is you kind of stepping into your own power and just like taking control of your life, right? All right. Yeah, trust the process, guys. Trust the process, absolutely. See, on the other side of that fear is everything that you want, okay? So you guys, maybe you're scared to let something go from the past, whether this be old energy in the, in the same relationship or an old energy from an existing relationship. But as soon as you do, guys, as soon as you do, this is the sun card. This is a new beginning. This is a new rebirth, right? A rebirth in an existing relationship. Or this is the rebirth in you. You have let go of the fears. The sun is going to help evolve you, right? Everything grows in the sun. Y'all know how I feel about that. Um, but this is new beginnings, okay? On the other side of fear. On the other side of the fear is everything that you want, okay? So making sure that you are trusting the process. Making sure that you are in tune with your emotions, okay? They're not going to lead you astray, guys. All right, this is very beautiful. But yeah, some of you guys are, um, you guys have new beginnings coming in in a relationship or this is just you. Once you let go of something, guys, once you let go of something and uh, the queen of the queen of rods, the queen of wands, this is queen of rods, but um, typically it's the wands. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to roll with that. Um, but this is you guys being sexy. This is you guys being independent. Again, the sunflowers. This is you guys being enlightened. This is you guys taking charge. All right, so we do have fire and water sign, okay? So some of you guys are definitely holding on to a relationship, right? Could be talking to a water sign. All right, but some of you guys are holding on to a relationship, right? You don't want to let it go. But I feel like there is a need to kind of allow the changes to come in, allow the wall to break so that you can allow a new beginning. If you can't, guys, it's going to be hard for you guys to move forward, okay? And you're going to be stuck. And then that kind of leads to toxicity, right? Codependency. So allow the changes that need to take place to unfold so that you can grow together. All right, but others of you guys are stepping into your emotions, right? You are letting yourself, you're expressing your emotions. You're stepping into your power. You are sexy. You are enlightened. You are going forward with the things that you want, all right? Enlightened, right? You're being still. You're allowing the new information to come to you, not letting your emotions block it, right? So that you can go ahead and move forward towards your new passion and beginning, which is going to be everything you want with the sun card, all right? So this is very beautiful, guys. Um... Yeah, let's see. You guys are moving to better days. All right, so whether this be mentally or physically moving, right? You guys might physically be moving, okay? But whatever whatever happened in the past, right? Where maybe you were left out in the left out in the cold or, you know, maybe you had a lack of faith, even if this could be finances. I know this is a love reading, but whatever happened here, this is the past because you guys are going to step into your power. You guys are moving from the storm into better days, right? coming out of that mental conflict if that's you or you're just coming out of that relationship where you know what it wasn't good for you and it's like you know what i see a better future up ahead i don't know what that looks like right because we don't see anything in here it's all gray it's all uncertainty right but you trust the process and you know that you have happiness here on the other side of fear so you're moving forward you're going to take that leap of faith you're freeing yourself you know it's safe for you to love again okay even love yourself right Absolutely. Um, for others others of you guys, this is your relationship, right? You're coming out of the storm. You are moving better. You're moving to better days, okay? Um, yeah. 
whether this is you are single or in a relationship, take it hard, resonate, guys. But this is you definitely knowing what it is that you want. You're stepping into your power. This relationship is getting that balance. It's getting that new restart. It's always are dying. Fear is dying. Toxicity is dying. Either you're leaving that, you're moving forward, or you're getting a rebirth. So you guys, take it how it resonates, and you're allowing something new to come into your life when you take that leap of faith, okay? So beautiful, beautiful reading, okay, Capricorn, or I'm sorry, Sagittarius. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Y'all know I love you guys. I love you guys. So thank you so much for your support. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. Yeah. You guys, really quick. Everything grows in the sun, right? I know I said that already. But this is you flirting. This is you bringing that childlike energy into the relationship. This is you having some fun. All right? This is you breaking down the wall. Right? We have the wall here twice. So this is you guys absolutely breaking down the wall. You are breaking down the wall. You are bringing that new fun energy into your life, whether this is you being single or just in a relationship. And you are going to live your best life. You are going to restore this. Or if you're not going to restore, you're stepping into your power. And you are a power player yourself. You're emotionally balanced and you have the creativity. You're enthusiastic. You're a charmer. You're sexy. You're moving to better days, guys. So I love you, Sagittarius. Okay, congratulations. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I love y'all. Um, y'all know what to do. Talk to your girl. I'll talk back, y'all. Peace. <laughs>